Hey baby players. All right, just mm, jotting down and preparing my module two for my bass lessons, my one-on-one -on -one bass lessons uh, at the shop. Currently at the the plains of Levisia, visiting my in-laws. So uh, I wanted to, you know, take a time off to talk about. Mm, action what is action and relief and those are arguably one of the hottest topics of bass players you know and in a while we'll talk about it stay tuned <laughs> Action is referred to as, um, you know, also known as the relief of um, how you set up the bass. The relief is the distance between the strings and the fretboard. So, questions, views, myths, what's right and what's wrong with string height or action. Actually, there is no right or wrong in um, a string action and how you set up your bass. It really depends on your preference, you know, and uh, your style and your goal as a player. And um, but for me, I'm uh, years ago. I I already had a change of heart regarding string height or action. Um, before I used to set up my bass really low. Um, for years, um, I did uh, uh, enjoyed it, but it came to a point that um, I noticed, and I always tell this to my clients, to my customers, that um, whenever I practice personally at home, um, I would get the, the 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 right tone, very seamless, on my instrument. But problem is, when it comes to the live situation, 
during live situations I cannot feel my tone when everybody is sounding all together the tone just gets sucked out of from nowhere so um, um, I did my research I also had um, you know a couple of famous guys that I observed um, who did this on their basis Jaco uh, Pastorius um, if you would notice on his YouTube videos when the camera is being focused on uh, the near the joint of this um, the neck pocket there's a significant shadow um, which means his action is not low one player also very um, famous guy Marcus Miller and uh, you know um, during the 80s um, his base tech uh, that time was uh, Roger Sadowski um, he realized that the base I'm quoting him the base didn't really speak well that way this came from bass player magazine September 1996 issue as I did my research so gradually he increased his action so if you would um, observe and hear his records it really packs a punch I mean his tone especially when he does his slapping technique so please don't get me wrong because I I understand both sides of the equation the the low action side of things and the slightly um, higher action I don't want a high action base I just uh, went up a notch a little just medium action so um, there's a lot of beautiful technique that you can derive from um, having a low action on your base depends on your style as I've said depends on the, the your band setting um, as as for me um, uh, I do session works for different artists so uh, I want my tone and uh, my dynamics to come from my hands so one of the things that I've uh, developed and I'm still developing is having um, a control um, on the names with my my hands especially the, the, the right hand technique there's so much texture that you can derive out from your your right hand as a bass player and um, also I don't really suffer from uh, um tone loss after i erased my action so th those patients who are having concerns that yeah I'll, I'll i'll be struggling with my instruments gonna have pain in my hands my wrist tendonitis all of that um as i've said this this is um no means any right or wrong uh approach I'm just opening up your mind that this is one way to approach your instrument. It is all very subjective. So I'm not really dictating to anyone that you should raise your action. You just probably need to explore this by yourself. And um, what feels right for you, especially. And you should definitely operate within your you know comfort zone explore and let your imagination run along so going back to my previous experiences uh, with uh, low action yeah my tone gets sucked out and when every everyone uh, sounds all together within the stage so simple physics less vibration 
less sustain and tone. Um, another notable player uh, who has a, um, a, a high action would be John Paritucci, Czech Korea electric band. Um, go check him out. He's, he, well, he's also an, an upright player, so uh, he s switches from the electric bass to the upright bass from time to time. And um, Yannick Wizdala, so also one. I also follow him in, on YouTube. And he has a foot there uh, before he before he switched to Madison basses. Uh, he has a, foot, a signature for their bass that uh, I believe he has a ramp installed on his bass. Then he talked about he uh, he talked about uh, seeing John Petrucci in one of his gigs. He talked about uh, his tone in action in action. So he encouraged Yann Yannick to. To raise his action to improve his tone. I'll just quote him as one of his videos that um, he, I wish I was never influenced by low action bass players. Everything has been improved when I raised my action. Dynamics, tone, feel, time, articulation and I personally uh, experienced that same thing with uh, Yannick after I raised my action on uh, my, my basis so the purpose of this video is just, you know to open your mind that this is a possible way to play your instrument remember if you decided to check this out it's not a race race them gradually try them out on your basis uh, small increments test it out first on your uh, saddle height until uh, your hands get used to it and uh, always pra practice it practice it I also respect that you know changing your prosser technique might be a little difficult on some bass players, <laughs> but hey, our audience they don't really care ab about our technique. <laughs> they just want to hear good music, right? So um, I started out by adjusting uh, just a quarter of, of a turn. Eventually, working myself way up. And uh, yeah, I'm used to it. And also the benefits of having this kind of setup on your base. Personally, it um, helped me to gain more control on my playing, on my instrument, dynamics, texture. So the for me, the here are the top four. Uh, benefits of slightly raising your action better dynamic range sustain better tone and sound and better control on your instrument as I've said a while ago so um, for the, the injury uh, side of things carpal tunnel uh, tendonitis just go slow go, go slow and it's not a race <laughs> so you don't have to um, push yourself too hard to work this and oh, make this an overnight thing it is not an overnight thing so um, be open to changes also on, on, on your playing Doing bass setups uh, at Syncopado, um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I have um, gauged the comfort of uh, playability of uh, 
my client's base is by number one how you set up the base and number two which strings do you use because there are strings out in the market are pretty stiff on the hands so uh, at my shop I carry uh, the Sadowski blue label strings and my ch uh, my choice of gauges would be on my personal basis if it's a, f a five string that would be 130 till down to 45 if it's a uh, a uh, four string bass that would be 105 till 45 105 on the E string 85 on the A 65 on the D and 45 on the G string add 130 on the B string if you're a five string player so um, I'm not uh, again <laughs> I just want to reiterate that I'm not dictating to anyone that uh, this should be your norm on your base but I'm just saying that um, this is one way uh, on playing your instrument there are a gazillion ways on how to approach your playing styles but slightly low uh, raising your action um, you, you may have a concern about playing fast doing some tapping and all of, uh, those techniques it can be done it can be done as long as you spend time on the shed doing your homework uh, it won't be pro a problem you may hate it or you may love it so yeah those are my thoughts on uh, string height and uh, action so I want to hear yours leave a comment on my video let's share uh, ideas um, about uh, string heights and action and um, I'll see you soon at the shop right just make sure that you <laughs> Uh, schedule your visit with me thank you again for viewing um, my short clip not so short it's almost 15 minutes but uh, uh, I hope it gave insights on uh, string height or action and uh, I'll see you soon back in Manila <laughs>